Okay, guys, I asked you to do the, the extra practice, excuse me, which was on page 191. And you had to do problems 17 through 25 odd. All right, the answers are number 17, it's 2,400. Number 19 is 90. Number 21 is yes. Number 23 is no, with a 32 after it. And I'll explain that in the notes. And number 25, you have to actually see the notes. So here we go, number 17. Let's do this. 17, you have... 33.6 times 80. Two. <laughs> you saw what I did there, right? I was already doing the, the math in my head. So I apologize for the sloppiness. Okay. Tens place, ten place. This, again, stays the same. This becomes 30. And by now you should know why this happens. And this, again, I look to the right. Well, that's just 80, which is what I was thinking already in my head. All right. What's 80 times 30? Again. 8 times 3 is 24. I add two zeros. Done. You can do the work to verify if you don't believe me. Okay. Those are just little tricks you learn as you do math. Number 19. A single year on Saturn is equal to twenty point. Sorry, 29.4 years on Earth. Uh, but how many Earth years are equal to 33.2 years on Saturn? Okay. It's kind of a ratio deal here. All right. So just for the sake of argument, one year. And I could do this quickly, but I don't want, I don't want to do that. One year Saturn equals 29.4 years Earth. So if we have... 2.9, 3.2 years on Saturn. How many years is that on Earth? Okay. Now, why am I showing you this? Because I could show you the math problem, what you're multiplying, what times what, but you need to know how they got that, even that, okay, how to set these problems up. To go from here to here, they multiply by 3.2. We'll do the same thing here. See, now you can see the math problem easily. Okay. 29.4 times 3.2. All right. This, pretty fair to see, pretty easy to see, I hope. This stays the same, 3.0. And this, yes, I'm going to go with the tens place because that'll give me 30. And 30 is easy to multiply. This becomes three because I added one. Why? Because it's the nine, the number next to it, is more than five. Everything else has to become zero. 30 times three equals 90. So about 90, again. So let me do the math problem, the equation, 29 times four times, 29.4, excuse me, times 3.2 is about 90. All right, 21. Use estimation to determine whether each answer is reasonable. If the answer is unreasonable, sorry, if the answer is reasonable, write yes. If not, write no and provide a reasonable estimate. All right. So number one, 21 says 22.8 times 4.7. They say that it's equal to 107.16. Now, is that reasonable? Well, let's see. Okay, 22.8, I'm going to say this is 23, 23, Ugh, let's do 20, yeah, 20 times 5, okay. Now, <laughs> like, what am I talking about? This definitely becomes, let's do the easy one. Okay, 7 or more, add 1, 5, tens place. We'll look to the right, that's two. This stays the same. Everything else after becomes zero. 20 times five is 100. So yeah, it's pretty close. Pretty close, yes. Now, when you heard me talking to myself, I was tempted to make this 23. But then 23 times five, it's a little harder to do in your head. 23 times five would be 105 which is a more reasonable estimate, but that's harder to do in your head. And again, the goal here is to do mental math. 
The goal here is to set up the math so you can do the problem in your head. This you can do in your head, all right? So that was just having a mental debate in my head, thinking out loud, sort of. All right, 23. 7.8 times 1.1 times 4.2, and they're saying it's equal to 50. <laughs> Is it? Mm. Let's find out. This becomes 8.0. 1.1 just becomes 1.0. 4.2 becomes, well, what does it become? 4.0. 8 times 1 times 4, that's 8 times 4, that's 32. So this one is no, 50 is not reasonable. As an estimate, you get 32, and 50 is way too far from 32 to be reasonable. That's why it's no. Okay, last one. The table shows some nutritional facts about orange juice. Estimate each value for one quart of orange juice. Hint, four cups is equal to one quart. Okay. Wow. Okay. Here we go. So we have this table. If you can see it, there you go. I'll just rewrite it. number 25 so calories it's 112 vitamin C equals 96.9 okay carbohydrates which I think just means sugar <laughs> but I could be wrong about that is 26.8 and finally, calcium, 22.4 milligrams. Okay. Milligrams. Okay, now all this, all this is just for, for one cup. And one cup of orange juice, this is what you get. All right. We want to know what the estimate is if we get four cups. All this is going to change, obviously. It's going to increase. So calories, 112. You know what? The grace place value here is hundreds. I'm going to go here. All right. The number next to it is four or less, so the one stays the same. This becomes one. Everything else also becomes zero. That's 100. So 400 calories for in four cups or one quart. Vitamin C. Now, let's hold on to this one. 96.9. Oh. <sighs> Now, what, what am I debating here? I'm thinking, okay, I have 96.9. <coughs> if I go with the rules I just mentioned, I look at the ones place. Okay, let's try it out and see what happens and see if this makes sense. Okay, 96. I'm going to add one to this. Boom. Nine plus one is 10. Everything else after is zero. Zero. All right. So about 100 times four. That's 400, 400 milligrams vitamin C. So far, so good. I guess my debate was I didn't even want to do this because I figured, you know what, 96 is really close to 100. Might as well just go to 100. But I told myself, just do the math, just to verify. And yeah, I was, I was, I was, I was close. It's reasonable what I was thinking earlier. All right, 26.8. I'll look at this two. I'm going to round up, I think. Yep. I'm going to add one. Two, 
120 milligrams again. of carbohydrates. Now hold on. Hold on, I just realized something. Now this all depends on you. 26.8, I rounded it up to 30, and I did 4, which makes sense. But I'm thinking, you know what? If the goal is to make the math easier would 25 have been okay would that have been all right hmm because the book i'm looking at the, what the book says and they have they put 100 milligrams of carbohydrates so they went to 25 they went from 26.8 to 25 now what they did there was they used compatible numbers now compatible is a totally different issue so I think in this case, I'm going to say the book is wrong. I'm going to go with the 30. It makes more sense. Okay. I just realized that. Again, guys, just to let you know, I'm not perfect. You've already seen me make plenty of goof-offs, mistakes. I've go <laughs> Not goof off That didn't make any sense. See, right there was a mistake. And the book is not perfect either. Okay. So when you do the math, if you have an answer that makes sense, by all means, <clears throat> if it's not the same as what the book said, bring it up to your teacher and back up your claims with why you think it is what it is. And you know what? You might very well be right. So it doesn't hurt to just say, hey, the book says one thing, but I think it might be another. And let me tell you why. Okay. But anyways, next, last one. 22.4. 22.4. All right. I look to the right. See, if I'm already getting slapped here, I'm skipping steps because I'm just kind of doing this in my head already. You will get to that point, guys. You do this enough time, it just becomes automatic. Because look at this, 22, just to show you why I did what I did. If I looked at the hill thing, in, in my head, I imagined this already. 22 is right here. It's going to go to 20. But let me show you with, with the proof. I look to the right. It's 4 or less. So this stays the same. It becomes a 2. That becomes a 0. That becomes a 0. 20 times 4, that's 80. And that would be 80 milligrams of calcium. All right, guys, and that's it. That, there's your answer for how you got 25 or 25. Okay. Hope this helped.